Hello and welcome to Edfantes Academy. My name is Beth Strachan and I'm the admissions director here at Edfantes. We are a classical Christian school, K through 12, here in Centerville, Virginia. And this is our 24th year of school here. We have a campus that includes the building you see behind me, which is our upper school, which we share with Centerville Presbyterian Church. We also have our own building in the back for our kindergarten through sixth grades. Typically, we'd love to have you come in, visit with teachers and um, students, and really see what is going on in the building. But of course, due to the coronavirus, we can not do that this time. So I would like to give you a virtual tour and we'll have to use our imaginations a little bit, but we'd love for you to be able to see the space that we have. And I can share some of the highlights of our school with you during the tour. So come along with me and I hope you enjoy your time here. I'm sharing with you the entrance to our lower school campus. Um, this is our building for kindergarten through sixth grade. Uh, you'll see that we also have a really great playground here. And what you're looking at here is the back of our upper school portion of our campus, which we share with Centerville Presbyterian Church. I should also say that we are not affiliated with the church in any way. We rent space from them and have a wonderful relationship with them, but we are not part of the church. We're actually run by an independent board of directors and each one of our families um, come from a variety of different um, Christian backgrounds. I'm standing here um, at the end of our hallway in our lower school and it looks very long from here. Um, we have eight classrooms in this building from kindergarten through sixth grade, plus a dedicated art room. We also have a small library and a multi-purpose room. Uh, of course, all the offices for the lower school are here as well. So Mrs. Janet Cooper, who is our principal, has her office here, our operations manager, and also our educational therapist. We also have two aides who work full-time here in the lower school to help in classrooms as needed. And a few other things, just maybe housekeeping things to share with you, is that kids do bring their own lunches here to Infantes. Um, we do offer Chick-fil-A one day a week and we offer pizza one day a week. So that's a nice change for everybody. Here's a look at our multi-purpose room. It truly is multi-purpose. Right now it is set up with tables. Um, often lunches can occur in here for a few grades at a time. It is used as the music room. It can be used for meetings runaround time uh, for PE, for classes, if the weather outside isn't cooperating. So it is a really multifunctional space, uh, something that the kids really enjoy having. Um, we're very appreciative of it. And we go down the hallway here to check out a few of the other classrooms. Welcome to kindergarten. As you can see, it's a pretty busy classroom. Kindergarten at Fontes is a ton of fun. Um, it's a busy place. They are really working hard to solidify skills, especially in the areas of spelling, reading, writing, grammar, um, and then also math. Those are the biggest focuses for sure for a kindergartner here in terms of academics. Um, they're also learning a lot about just working together, working as a group, listening, fine motor skills, um, all the things that they really need to do as well as social skills as they move forward into first grade and beyond. So I'm standing here in our third grade classroom. This is Mrs. Margaret Lee's classroom and thought I would just take a minute to share with you a little bit about the lower school education and what that looks like. So kindergartners through sixth graders come to school all day every day from eight o'clock in the morning until 2.45 and they all have a primary teacher for each of those grades and then additionally they have teachers for their specials like music and art and PE and Latin which starts in third grade. Um, a lower school education is really focused on foundational skills and building those foundational skills in every subject. So that means in math, an example of that would be learning your math facts, learning them so well that there's no doubt that you have them down frontwards, backwards, in addition to lots of other math skills that are important for kids to really have at the ready so that they are ready to learn more difficult things as they get older. 
It's things like spelling rules, learning why we spell the way we spell, um, how to form letters when they're very young, how to write in cursive properly, um, things like grammar is are very important to us here. So kids learn every part of speech. They learn how to diagram sentences. They learn how to parse and pick apart words and sentences so that they can become better communicators themselves. This is our sixth grade classroom. Mrs. George is our sixth grade teacher. And just thought we'd use this classroom as an example. Um, they all have a lot of similarities. So every student has their own desk, of course, with plenty of space inside. And they all have their own hooks in the back to hang backpacks um, and lunches. Kids do bring their lunch every day, as I think I mentioned. Um, and also there is a time for snack during the morning, bathroom breaks, and of course we have outside recess and lunchtime in midday. Welcome to our library. Uh, this room obviously is used for students to come in and check out books. It also serves as a conference room if necessary and a place where small reading groups for kindergarten and first grade can meet. Possibly the most fun room here in our lower school is our art room. It's certainly the prettiest. Um, Mrs. Dee Dee Kinsing is our very capable and wonderful art teacher and all of the children from kindergarten through sixth grade come into this room in order to do art for one hour a week. So I'll take a minute and show you around a little bit and show you a few of the pieces of work that they have done so far this year. Throughout the year, the students learn about a lot of different artists and then get to practice that art here in the classroom. There's a variety of different things that have been done recently. And of course on the tables, you can see just that a lot of work happens here. The individual packets of each of the children are laid out on the tables for right now. So you can get a glimpse of, this would be an example of some sixth grade art here all the way down to kindergarten and a few examples of their work as well. And just a look down at our lower school from our upper school, um, a better view of the playground area as well as um, what is the carpool pick up and drop off area for the lower school. Um, doubles as basketball courts and PE space as well and here you can get a better look at those picnic tables and where the kids can very often sit out and have lunch um, and just beyond there is another field over there where the kids can go thank you so much for joining me today on this tour of Infantes academy thank you for your patience and knowing that things are a little different right now um, but we're trying to make adjustments as we can and provide for you the very best um, that we possibly can during this time. If you'd like to contact me and talk more about admissions, if you just have questions about the school, uh, please contact me. My information will be on the screen at the end of this video for you, as well as on our website. Please visit our admissions page and really just spend some time checking out our website as there is so much information to offer there. Um, we also should have very soon a page that is devoted specifically to um, dealing with school in this particular time. Everything from ideas of what you can be doing at home um, to how to go through the admissions process right now, specifically for Infantes Academy. And you can also see pictures of our kids as they are engaged in what we are calling Infantes at Home, which is our um, distance learning program that we've employed for the rest of the school year. So while we all miss each other terribly and we don't enjoy being apart, um, we're all very much looking forward to being back together again in the fall. Blessings to you and your family and thank you for spending some time with us. Take care.